this is an excellent starting point. It served us well up to this point, but there are oh so many upgrades that we can begin to implement. I don't just require a base, I require the most efficient base we can possibly make! Welcome to the luscious beaches and a wonderful vistas of Crown Gold. Here in the casino, things may be a little sparse, but we're picking up this save right at the end of the tutorial, so we don't have too many items to fill in our cover operation yet. Behind the back doors, we lead into our guard's armory, control room, and then we get into our pleasant little base here that we are starting out with. Clearly, they were running a special on Sloppy Joes in the lunchroom today, so that seems to be the hot spot for our minions. Our prison, laboratories training room that echoes a little bit like that old gym floor but here we are a wonderful starter base again right out of the tutorial i think that this is where a lot of people begin when they are just starting out here in evil genius 2 but we are not just going to show the beginning of base building no we are going to build the most efficient base possible the first thing that i see holding us back is that we have walls absolutely everywhere take Poor Augustine Bucket here. He wants to eat, but he can't just go directly to a table. He has to walk all the way around to find a doorway. How archaic. Well, we can get rid of all of that. Where we're going, we don't need walls. Except, apparently the game thinks we do somewhere. Okay, so obviously some items have to be set up against walls, so we're going to have to include walls there, but we're not going to hold that against our base with no walls. Go, my minions, tear down these archaic constructions. Free yourselves and your rooms. You can walk wherever you please. And the walls came a tumbling, walls came a tumbling, walls came a tumbling down. Came tumbling down. Ah, uh, don't you just feel freer already? The minions walking to and fro, taking the quickest path to wherever they need to go. Look at all this space. Base. It feels so wide open. But there's still more upgrades in store. So first we did away with walls, but now look, there's just... We've replaced them with corridors everywhere. There's so much space. Look at poor Ida here. She wants to go check her meager possessions from her old life. And she was just repairing an item in my control room. Now she has to walk all the way over here to get to a locker. Look at how long this is taking her. We can do better. We did away with walls, now we do away with corridors. I mean, just look at how much space ended up being corridors. Now you might be saying, how can you possibly get rid of corridors? And I would counter that with what are the corridors actually doing for us? They're not like highways for cars where the minions actually walk faster in a hallway. And it's not like the minions are able to collide with each other. So they don't need open space to be able to travel between items. They can just phase shift right through each other. So it doesn't really give us any benefit to have corridors everywhere. The only benefit that the corridors give us is allowing us to build the items that a corridor normally contains. So traps, doors, which are inefficient, we don't want doors, stairs, letting us get to other floors, which are fine, we're gonna leave space to be able to keep stairs. The fire extinguishers, really only important for Ivan. We're gonna keep a few around, and so it's not too hard to keep a few pillars running with some fire extinguishers on them. And then the security cameras and the guard posts. I think the guard posts are pretty extraneous as long as you have a security camera network, and it won't be too hard for us on these pillars to go ahead and smack down some security cameras, and now you will see that these security cameras are actually going to be incredibly efficient because they don't no longer just see into our corridors they're also going to be able to look into our rooms so with a few key security pillars we'll be able to get full coverage of our entire lair onto the security cameras which i think will be very exciting to see especially when we get some of the super agents like agent x and symmetry in and if we are able to spot them wherever they're at and send our entire security force after them i'm really looking forward to seeing how that plays out 
So now the age old city builder question begs itself, what do we set as the centerpiece of our cavernous lair? Are we going to build around jobs with services outside of that? Or do we center the services and then put the jobs along the fringe of that? Well, Evil Genius is really not your conventional city builder, so we are going to shirk conventions and follow the theme of the game, setting the center of our lair as our inner sanctum. Okay, just lay out some markers here for a future staircase that will go down to the basement for the sake of symmetry, and we have the heart of our base established. Now that our personal workspace is humming along, we can begin to orient the rest of our base around our genius. Naturally playing as Zalika here, we are going to be moving our scientists' operations to a place where we can keep a very close watch over them. Okay, now that we have our most intensive jobs located here around our inner sanctum, it's time to branch out and offer our minions some services for when they need a break. Okay, initially the rest stations were a little bit smaller, but they were so popular with all the items just filled up, that was the key to me that we needed to extend the facilities. So obviously setting things up is going to be a lot easier if you're doing it straight from the get-go right as you're beginning to build the base rather than building a base as I did and then having to reorganize everything. But I kind of wanted to do it as like a extreme base makeover style to show how much you can change and how much you can really condense things down. This is like the heart of the base right here. And as you can see, I actually have more empty space. I'm just bringing things together so that all the empty space is out on the outside of my base, not all throughout where my minions have to keep on wasting time walking back and forth. Yeah, it's still a work in progress. Progress, so we're going to keep on slogging through here and make things even more efficient.
Okay, things may not look too different now, but I think this is actually where I'm going to leave it, and I think that I'm going to turn this into a mini video series, hopefully keeping the videos pretty short. So this is the super early game version of our ultimate base. We have this part of the base here that we have already showed off with the inner sanctum here, and because we are playing as Zalika, we are centering our science minions over here and then our other kind of techie uh, setup for the lair with the computer consoles and then the security cameras all next to right where she's at. We have other services just kind of branching off of here for the minion jobs. This will improve the worker smarts, very important when they are working on the consoles and in the control room. We have bedding and food, also improving their morale here and then our med bay the med bay is starting right here because the science minions often choose to operate this equipment so i'm trying to keep that centralized together to have short travel time for the scientists but this is going to move around a lot as we get a lot of much larger equipment pieces like this that go in the medical room as we continue to research and we're also going to get a lot of new laboratory equipment that is going to take up a bunch of space it cost us so much money. Ah, lab equipment is so expensive. So the lab is going to extend. The med bay is also going to extend and probably have to slide down toward the incinerators by right of that. But otherwise, I am very happy with where we are at right now. There might be there are things that are not completely done. So we have the entire um, sector of our control room over here and then another sector over here. And I'm leaving them like that for right now. We also have overflow barracks and a little bit of an overflow lunch room then the lockers over here i'm okay with leaving these zones the way they are without optimizing them and kind of pulling them in wrapping them around our central piece of the base because all of these items are going to become obsolete faster than blu-ray and as we get the updated versions of these items we're going to sell them off and then when we build the new ones that is going to be our opportunity to relocate these sections to more desirable more condensed and more efficient areas I'm I'm actually really happy with the way that this very front of the base is coming in. So the, the cover operation is very bare right now because you get so many items tied with the more advanced deception minion quests. So it's pretty empty right now, but it's still serving its purpose. Then it, you're going to enter directly into the armory for the guards. This is going to adapt again as we get their better tables. We have their weapons and then I actually... <laughs> so. This vault here is specifically for Symmetry because I hate her so much. She has a chance of spawning in any vault room that you have in your lair. So we're keeping floor two for um, the majority of the rooms that minions other than the techs don't need to go to. Only techs need to come up here to service the durability on these items. And then again, the idea is that we're going to end up using floor two for more of our base, but these items will become obsolete as we get the final tier of those items. So the super upgraded items will go up here on floor three, and then that can be a chance if we need to, to sell off stuff here and make room on floor two for more of the Research rest of the base course. options. So Symmetry and her rogues can spawn just right into this little tiny vault right next to our guards, and I hope... I hope so much that that happens and they just jump on her. Then we have our prison right here again immediately connected to the guards so I really like that kind of layout. I think that I'm going to extend, I'm going to find a way to get a corridor and a security camera looking in here but or maybe just move one of the guard tables over because so often your prisoners are going to break out pretty quickly and then I want the guards just to be able to jump on them to handle that. We've got a lunchroom here for the guards. These tables are going to upgrade to the muscle minion type once that we get that upgrade going. And then I'm using this space just for some fire extinguishers. This is all going to update once the lockers become obsolete and once we get better beds and, and so on. But I'm also really happy actually with these security camera zones because look at this coverage. This coverage in the security cameras is amazing. We get these full zones looking through. This is actually cut off because of this wall. So this is going to get a lot better when the, we get the improved beds that don't have to go up against a wall. But Otherwise, we get just complete coverage all the way through here, and then we're going to need to plan another lookout somewhere over here, depending on how we lay out our control room. Let's take a look at the really big picture here and see just how much things have been condensed. Now, obviously, a lot of these rooms are going to have to expand as we get new items, but I have done this whole rearrangement 
without picking up any of the advanced minion types without picking up any of the new item types. So this is still really your options right outside of the tutorial. And whereas before we were scattering all throughout the base, now all of our important minion hub is just right here. And you can see all this empty space on the outside gives us tons of room to expand. But minions don't have to be walking through here at all when they're working their jobs. Obviously I have this overflow lunchroom here until I get the ratios right on how many tables in other locations but besides that it is way more efficient we've cut out all the hallway space and as you can see our minions can just happily squeeze along these narrow corridors and walk through different rooms to be able to get to exactly where they need to be really satisfied with how this is coming together and i think that it will continue to look good as we get the bigger upgrades and then we can show even more optimization as we get some of those advanced item types that are able to be more space efficient um, and also provide better services for our minions and then we also get the better decorations that can also improve things for our minions so I'm interested, I'm trying to leave space in locations where I know I'm gonna get those better decorations to be able to fill those in without having to reorganize too much later on. So right now, right out of the this tutorial, this could be built even more space efficient. I'm just knowing that because this is the first step, I want to be able to grow without too much of a headache of relocating objects and rooms. Okay, Bosch, we followed your orders. The new open office layout is approved. We have uh, no walls and we have uh, no corridors, quote unquote. There's no hallways leading to different rooms. So this is still the beginning. Check back in the next video to see how things progress as we reach the mid game and more improved items. Leave a like if you enjoyed seeing this wacky open base design. Leave a comment on how you might improve your layouts or what kind of configuration of rooms you found success with and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Thank you guys and have a good one.